Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In this video, I will show you how you can restore your database on PostgreSQL server using command prompt commands. To be particular, in this video, I will use pg restore command. So, in the previous video, I had already shown you how to take backup and how to restore database using pg admin. So, in this video, I will show you how to do it using command prompt. So, let's start. There are two ways to do it. So first uh, go open your command prompt. Okay, I have opened it. In this video, I will cover two files, two types of files. That is tape archive file dot tar and backup file dot bak. In these two types of file, we will restore. Okay, so first let's we need to go to that location where the PostgreSQL is installed. For me, this is the path. For you, it can be different. Okay, first let's go to bin folder up to bin folder because within this bin folder I have my commands installed. If I show you, okay, so the pg restore command that application is here. So, this one, so that is why we need to go to this location first that is the bin location up to me so this is for applicable for me for you it can be different so you need to do it accordingly first go to up to that location now what we need to do is we need to enter the command yes but before that let's create the database so for that we can take help of SQL cell because we have already done using pg admin so in this video we will follow the other way I had already covered these things so I am not explaining what I am doing in this video so we have connected the database now I will create the database create database dvd rental so that was mistyped actually I am creating dvd rental database ok the dvd rental database is created ok So now what we need to do is we need to enter the command. Okay, if you want to verify and see using PG admin, you can do that. This one is by mistake created, so I'll drop that. Again, if I refresh, I'll have two databases. One is DVD rental and Postgres the default one. So I need to load the databases. Database in the dvd rental database so there is no views no tables and nothing so now let's go to command prompt okay here now i'll type command of pg restore so pg restore this is the command first the application and the host name host name for me is its local host you can mention the you the ip that uh, you have or the url whatever you have you can mention that here in the host okay hyphen h is for host and hyphen d is for database so database is dvd rental that i have mentioned and hyphen u is for user the user that through which will connect that is the postgres user and the port number hyphen p this is the port number i i have remembered that that is the port, port number and space then we need to provide the path where the database file is available so for me if i show you the database file is here so in this video i'll cover dot tar file dot bk file and for dot sql file we have to use the psql command that i'll cover in the next video so you can subscribe my channel to get the notifications or check the video from my channel page okay so now we need to provide this location this location slash the file name dvd rental let's do it for backup file first this is the back file name that i have so i have entered that file name here and now enter so the password password is here entered the password of the user whatever user you have provided so i have provided the provided the postgres user so accordingly for you it may vary you whatever user you are using you need to provide password for that I have already typed the password for me I have been saying the password is root r double o t so it can be different for you 
so press enter okay so the file must be loaded let's see that and if i refresh and if i so so now we have tables here we have views here okay so that means the database is loaded so this was one way now i will again delete the database now what i'll do i'll create the database again dvd rental and the database must be created now okay the database is created earlier we had created the database using psql command and now we have taken the pg admin help to create the database both are same thing and now what i'll do i'll do again the same thing the command is exactly same and we need to provide the file name so file name is dot tar okay tape archive file that is the file name and because i have kept in this location and all other attributes are same for pg restore so now if i press enter again so it asked me the password password is r double o t for me for the postgres user now enter it will be loaded in no time yeah it is done so if i come here and refresh it i can be able to see views and tables so that means that database is restored successfully so in this video i had shown you how to load the database using pg restore command and using the command prompt so in the next video i will show you how to restore your database using psql command and if the file name is dot sql type so how to do that i will cover in the next video so do subscribe my channel to get notifications and also if this video was helpful to you please do like my video and share with your friends so let's meet in the next video till then take care bye bye